Hi, Dan. You have more reporting there from the White House, though I know they are being tight-lipped. They are being very tight-lipped, but the objective, at least according to the White House, is to make the opposition as strong as possible inside Syria to improve their capabilities, but also to put more pressure on President Assad to step aside. The internal debate on the administration's response hasn't always been unanimous. Multiple sources tell CNN the president and national security advisor Tom Donilon favored a more cautious approach. Secretary of State John Kerry and incoming national security advisor Susan Rice pushed for more intervention. The timing to act now, say aides, was driven by intelligence assessments and proof that chemical weapons were used. But some critics aren't convinced, calling the decision to arm the rebels a mistake. What he's taking is a half step that's actually rather dangerous. It commits the U.S., it commits U.S. prestige, but it's probably not going to change the balance of power there. The White House seems confident this assistance will not only help the rebels, but put more pressure on Assad. As for the no-fly zone, as was established in Libya, aides say it's more difficult, dangerous, and costly, in part because of Syria's air defense system. But Republican Senator John McCain doesn't agree, saying this on CNN's The Lead. Unless we take out Bashar Assad's uh, air, air assets and establish a safe zone, it will not change the favorable conditions on the battlefield for Bashar Assad. And while many options remain on the table, boots on the ground is not one of them. We certainly don't think it's in our national interest to introduce <laughs> U.S. troops. Now, White House aides have been the ones uh, briefing reporters over the last couple of days, but Senator John McCain and others are asking why the president himself has now co not come out and explained the actions to the American people, just like he did in Libya. Uh, he says that the American people deserve this. Uh, White House uh, top aide here, uh, Ben Rhodes, said uh, that the president over the next several days will have several opportunities to do that as he heads the G8 in Germany. I know. We'll look for that. It was bizarre that the president was speaking publicly yesterday at the same time the White House was privately briefing reporters okay. about crossing the red line. Uh, curious, Dan, now that the administration has made this late decision to provide new aid to Syrian rebels, are they able to get the support to the rebels in time to make a difference? You know, that is such a good question because even the White House will admit that there have been hiccups along the way in trying to get other supplies uh, to the rebels. But they believe that over the last several months, six months, in fact, uh, that the pipeline has gotten much better. And so now they're saying that they're quite confident uh, that this kind of military assistance can get to the rebels in time.